this is how you set goals that don't make you feel like you're drowning and aren't so high that when you don't hit them, you feel like a failure and then you get scared of the goal and you never do it again. And you feel like that thing is bigger than you when in reality you just set the bar too high and you kind of asked too much for yourself of yourself and you made it a really hard standard to keep up with when in reality, if you were to set your goals a little bit lower and make them actually achievable, you'd give yourself a lot more motivation and inspiration to keep going with your goals because you know that you weren't having to give, you know, tooth and nail in order to get something. So I want to say I'm the first person to, I am like, if you guys are anything like me, I'm like stupid, crazy, insanely ambitious. I am like always want like, I'm like, no, if it's like, you know, if I get a new book, I'm like, okay, I want to like try and read this book like tonight. You know what I mean? I want to read this book by tomorrow. And like, I always do silly things like that myself. I'm going to make a hundred TikToks today. I'm going to work out for four hours today. And like, you're someone who does that and you get these like crazy bursts of inspiration. First of all, that's awesome and that's good and use that to your advantage. That's great. But at the same time, understand that for real change to happen, you need to really like commit to a process and um, that I, it's annoying, but things don't happen overnight. And um, even though I wish they did and um, that if you really commit to stuff, like that's actually going to work out. So this is how you should be um, setting up your goals in order to, to keep you inspired to continue making progress so that you can actually finish through and make progress in your life. So what I would say is if you're um, that, first of all, you need to have a clear objective in mind of what your goal is, because if you want to start a good habit, you want to, you know, set a goal and you want to, you know, create a good habit or break a bad habit, whatever it is, something about habits, um, either it's good or bad, you need to have a clear idea of what that outcome is because that outcome is now your vision that's going to drive you to do your habit on the days where you don't feel like doing your habit. So for example, if your goal is to lose 20 pounds, it's probably more reasonable to say, I want to try and lose you know, a pound a week over 20 weeks than saying, I'm going to lose 20 pounds in one week. Um, so you break down the goals in order to get there because reality is the time is going to pass anyways. And, um, you know, if you commit to things, uh, things actually do happen. And I'm only 22. I'm pretty young. Um, but I have committed to a lot of things in my life, social media and working out being two of them that, um, I've stayed, um, very focused and like locked in on and actually have made an effort to create habits and work towards these things. And I have seen, you know, um, fruit, bloom from it flowers grow from watering something for a long time and just doing something you know good or bad don't feel like it results or no results just doing it all the time and I want to tell you first of all that things actually do start to change in your life when you actually commit to stuff and I think it's great and I wish I knew that when I was younger I wish I had someone to tell me that hard work actually does pay off I wish that I had someone to tell me that um you know, Carrington, if you were to do something for a very long time, you will get better at it and you will be better at these things and be farther ahead than people who might have been born with innate talent or who might have just be better at these things than you. So, um, you need to just to, to break it down, really, you need to figure out what it is you want and figure out the action you need to do to get there. So if it's as simple as like you just want to start reading more, let's just say that you're like, I should probably start reading more. You shouldn't tell yourself that you need to read for two hours every single day because that goal is very, very scary. That is a huge time commitment. That is, I don't know if you do anything for two hours a day rather than like sleep or go to school or work. Um, so to go immediately from zero to 120 minutes a day of something is a lot. What I actually like to recommend to people is to make a conscious effort to do like very, very light version of that. If you want to start reading, but you haven't read in the past five years, I would say to challenge you to sit down and read one page. That's what I would say. I would say, I don't care, but like set a time to keep it consistent. I wouldn't say that like I'm going to read at some point in the day. If you really want to do something, you need to make it easy as possible for yourself. So you need to tell yourself, give yourself some sort of routine. I know it's hard to commit to things. I definitely have an issue, you know, committing to things. Um, but 
I would say that if you really care about doing this thing, then you should tell yourself, okay, I care about this enough to commit the last five minutes before I go to bed, no matter what, no matter if I go to bed way late, no matter if I'm going to, no matter if I'm going to wake up and have like five less minutes of sleep or an hour less of sleep, commit to it because you want the thing. And the times where you do the thing when it's really hard, give you a lot of motivation to keep doing the thing. But I would say, you know, give yourself, make it really easy on yourself and then ask yourself to read one page. That's, that's genuinely what I would do. If someone said, I want to start reading, I would say, okay, read one page. It's, 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 it's that simple. I would, I genuinely, I would say like, if you want to start reading, challenge yourself right now, grab a book and just, just read one page. It, it doesn't matter if it ends in the middle of a sentence, just read one page. Cause you're going to finish that. And you might feel like, oh, wow, that wasn't so bad. And you might even be invested in whatever you're reading and want to keep going. And then you have a, a genuine innate desire to do the thing rather than, you know, yourself yelling at yourself, do it, do it, do it. You make it easier on yourself because you now want to do it, you know, because you put in just a tad bit of effort and you just let, I don't know, whatever, do the rest. Um, another thing with setting habits is making things really easy for yourself. I forget what this is called. I would love if someone told it, but it's basically the concept of like making hard things as easy as possible for yourself. So they seem easy. So like if I like, what would be a way like, but for example, let's say I wanted to stop smoking. Like I want to stop smoking. Okay. Would it be harder to stop smoking if you were to hang out at your house all day or, you know, hang out with your family all day who isn't cool with you smoking? Would it be easier to not smoke around them or would it be easier to not smoke with all of your smoker friends? Okay. So your environment now is a factor, right? So we determine that your environment has a factor on making you do things. Okay. So that's a thing. Now, if you wanted to stop smoking as well, would you have a pack of cigarettes in your thing all the time or would you not have access to them? Okay, so you don't have it on you right now. So now you're hanging out with your family or by yourself, whatever, or maybe your friends who don't smoke, and you also don't have any cigarettes on you. So now it's pretty easy to not smoke because you don't have to do anything to not smoke. You don't have to try and not smoke it. Nothing is there. You know what I mean? You would have to put effort into doing it. And like you're addicted, so you're going to want to put an effort to do that. But you're making it easy for yourself, right? Make it easy for yourself. You need to make it really easy for yourself. If you want to start working out, I wouldn't say to go <clears throat> tell yourself you're going to work out for three hours at the gym, seven days a week, you know, at 5 a.m. in the morning. No, you need to make it really easy for yourself. Maybe you need to say, okay, you know what? I can do 10 push-ups tonight. And maybe for a month, you just do 10 push-ups a day. But, and you might not get a lot of results to that. If you're not working out, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get a little bit of results from that. You get a little bit of results from that, especially if you don't really work out. But what that's really going to do is feed it long term. It's really going to be an indicator of yourself to tell you, oh, I actually committed to something and I did something every day. Now I can up the stakes a little bit more. Now I can turn it up a notch and really commit to it and work at it. So that's what I have to say about it. And I know it's not, I didn't really give you a very fluffy answer like just do these things, but make it easy for yourself. And make it really achievable because for you to stay committed to long-term goals, especially if they're super long-term, like you really need to establish some sort of system in your life that where like it's easy to do the things. So you feel like you did the thing all the time and you establish some sort of reward system as well that like you did the thing for seven days. Cool. Like you're going to reward yourself by, I don't know, maybe you're going to go watch a movie or you get to go like slack off for a little bit, or maybe you're going to go get Chick-fil-A or something like that, but set up reward systems because in real life you don't really get like, you know, gold stars and things like that. You need to give yourself gold stars, which is so real. Um, but yeah, that's what I would say. And I'd love to elaborate on it more. I'm just, I'm very big on goal setting and I have gotten better and I still struggle with like, you know, setting the bar too high, but I'm, getting better at setting the bar just high enough that where I have to ask a lot of myself 
but I know it's not going to, you know, ruin my life if I don't get it. So I love you guys. That's that. And uh, be the person you wish you had. Thanks. I love you. YouTube, Carrington USA.